Well, let's do this will be good for a couple tests here. Get in this tower. Let me get in here. There she is. So I'm going to call uh, Buttercup, and Buttercup's going to come at full speed here. So she's over here. Here she comes running. So she's just sprinting. And, you know, a doe's none the wiser. And I can just send her out to spot again. So there, she's going to spot that that deer. There she goes. Take some time, but she's going to stop here pretty quick. Because she stops at 30 meters, so. And this is what you can do to level up. So she gets pretty close and this is something I want to show here though once she gets close enough to point. Okay, so she's pointing there. She's not too far. So she gets the XP there and then you can just recall her and she'll just get up and sprint. Just full run. Deer doesn't even care. And I've done that over and over and over again. So it's just... I don't know about that spooking. So then there's this here, so I'll tell her to lay down. But the dog can spook it, and it happens when the deer's getting called. We'll just wait for that deer to turn around. I'll wait and we're going to take a glance around here actually, see who's around. See if any monsters are around here. No, okay, so she's turned around. Now this is something you can't do, um, is send the dog out to detect a deer that's coming in. So she's uh, she's been called, she's alerted, she's looking for what's called. The, now the, the dog will spook it. This is the only time that uh, the dog really does spook it, is when it's coming into a call, because it's coming head on, right? And if it doesn't, I will be surprised, but that won't be the last time, or the first time. There, they're walking right at each other. Now, it should be getting spooked here. No, look at that. What are see science? So I've done that before, and they've spooked on that dog. Yeah, they're just looking at each other. Yeah, she keeps coming. I'm curious now. How close will she get? Look at this, right, you know, shake hands. Okay, he's no longer, oh, there, she's warned that I'm going to spook the deer? That whimper means I'm going to spook the deer. And she's, she's still spotting her from behind. I mean, see, the dog doesn't spook when, uh, Whoa, who's this coming up here? Are you another doe? I got excited there for a second. No, just another doe. I know there's two of them. And uh, so that's what I mean. That's why when that dog's on its job, it doesn't seem to spook anything. Because it, like it sort of transfers its uh, spookiness to me when I'm up in a tower, so... Out there in the tower. There they go. 
So, I'll leave that up to you guys who are watching to see why that's fluke, because when I'm in this tower, normally, without the dog there, they would have just stood under it. Man, a white tail doe would not have not a spook there. So, and you saw how close that dog got. So it's something about their senses getting heightened. Anyways, I keep going off of that because I uh, on that tangent there because I need to I need to sort that out. It doesn't make any sense. But uh, yeah, if the dog wasn't there, they would have just stood around the tower. I know that tower is not as good as the other ones, but the white-tailed doe they just stand around there. And uh, she finally got close enough that that, that her heightened sentence is there for being detected. Uh, detected me. So, like, that's one of the examples. But anyways, I'm going to keep doing the coyote hunt after that little distraction there, and we will be back.